each segment of these videos, all the different parts. We're gonna get into a little bit more of the. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> Target neutralized. Hey Blasters, and welcome to the next step in our big blue bulk blaster rebuild by Blue Dog Blasting. <laughs> <laughs> that was almost a face shot. Hey Blasters and welcome back to our Big Blue Bulk Blaster Rebuild by Blue Dog Blasting. Today we are going to be putting on our abrasive metering valve. This happens to be the 30-104, the FINA 2 valve. Um, the upgrade to this from the FINA 1 is basically this clear out plug. So while the Grip valve is on the machine. If for some reason you had a media clog, either due to moisture or some uh, other particles got into it, you can unscrew this and fish around in there, try to undo the clog, get everything knocked out instead of trying to take this whole thing out and then basically everything's gonna be coming out of your machine. So we've got that. We also have a quarter inch closed pipe nipple, which is 60-131 on our website and we have to put a tank coupling on it. We are going with a inch and a quarter uh, aluminum tank coupling, which is 14,534. And to come down from the pot and into our valve so that I don't have that problem that I just mentioned, uh, where if you had to take this off, everything would fall out. We are assembling a ball valve from the pot prior to our metering valve. This guy is not on the site just because it is a unionized type of ball valve. We do have ball valves on the website, but for this project we wanted something a little bit different, so that's what we went with. Any specialty items like this, that's always when you just contact us, either a phone call or an email, shoot it on over to me. I can always get these things ordered for you, even if you don't see it on the website. A lot of times I got all this stuff that uh, can go out pretty quick for you. So the first step, since this is going to come down from the pot, uh, our unionized ball valve is going to go from the pot and down and to connect it here we're going to put our nipple in and then one of the sides is going to hook to that assembled pusher line that we did last video and that's going to go on this end and as the abrasive comes through along with your air mixture it's got a hook to your blast line and you do that via a tank coupling. So we're going to get these parts tightened up and then we're going to get out there and put these on the machine. Follow us out. Hey Blasters! And oh. <laughs> That's a uh, take two? Yeah. Take two. Okay. <laughs> All right, Blasters, welcome back to part two of our Big Blue Bulk Blaster build with Blue Dog Blasting. Today, we're using more of the Blue Dog parts to rebuild this pot. Uh, we're actually helping a different company out that actually does rebuilds. So we just sold all the parts and pieces, but we got to bring you some informative videos. So here it is. We already pre assembled our metering valve, the FINA 2. And like I said, we used a little bit different ball valve than what we have on the site. This one is a union ball valve. So when I get underneath here to put this up onto the tank, I'll be able to twist everything while keeping everything in place. It makes my life a whole lot easier and that's why we went with it. So let's crawl underneath this thing, put this thing together so we can get out there and blast. Yeah. All right, blasters. So you can see with the union ball valve, made things a little bit easier so you can get underneath. Turn everything while keeping everything right where you need it to be. And that ball valve is also going to save us. So if we ever have to do some repairs down the line, we can always cut things off if we have to take that valve out. And that way we don't have media just flowing out. And anytime you're working on a pot, obviously depressurize it, unhook everything, make sure that you're safe. Always rule number one. So from the blast pot, we got to drop down into our union. It's going to go right into our FINA 2 abrasive metering valve. Again, plunger style valve, so you got a nice 
micro valve style fine-tuned uh, abrasive mix we got it hooked into our pusher line so it's got air going to it and now with our tank coupling we're ready to grab our uh, pinch coupled hose I know you're not going to edit that so I won't I even will. say edit that. <laughs> so from the tank coupling now the next step is to make a coupled pinch hose so that we can hook into that then we'll assemble our pinch valve and start getting everything done on the back end get, get out there and blast so episode two is wrapped up we have our abrasive metering valve down at the bottom of our pot we took our pusher line from the last episode got it hooked up so now we have air going through the pot we have the abrasive metering valve down at the bottom to meter out how much abrasive we actually want going into our line so that we can blast. So stay tuned for next time when we get into the pinch valve. Get out there and blast. Dogblasting.com. <laughs>